Welcome to Unit 4. This quick overview will take you through areas to focus on to maximize your success in this unit. First, start with your reading, Chapter 5 of your ebook. As you've probably noticed, this course heavily emphasizes and builds on the material unit by unit. So completing your reading in detail and taking notes is very important to your overall success in this course. From here, you can enter your Unit 4 discussion. Let's go over here to my discussion tab. Remember to make your post by Thursday at 11.55 Central Standard Time. It asks you to use one of these resources, and I'll show you where those are located, to describe a measurement instrument. Please make sure you use APA Citation. If you're not sure on how to cite appropriately, please see the library website or reach out to me with any questions. So let's go back at this point to find these resources. I'm going to go back to Unit 4, and I see both of them listed in my additional learning resources. Once you've completed your discussion, make sure to go back and follow up with at least two other people to complete three posts with appropriate citations. Each of your posts needs to be at least 100 or more relevant words in order to be counted for a grade. All of our discussions, as a reminder, are graded based off of the discussion rubric found in your course content. From here, you can move on to complete your quiz. Note that it is timed and it is closed book, so you should complete your reading first and then move on to your assignment. For your assignment, you can either use a direct measurement, so you can find a measurement instrument from one of the resources, or you could use a research study and then review the instrument from that study. So as an example, I went into the course library and I typed in a couple of search terms. One was validity validity of BMI, and another one was health promotion measurement tools. And I found one great article that came back. And this one had a PDF attached to it and examined the relationship between health risk behaviors, well-being, and productivity. And in here you can find the tool that they used and how they used it, as well as a link to the original resource that reviews the validity and reliability of this test. Please reach out to me at any point if you have any questions in this unit. Thank you.